Hello everybody. So this is our second Hocus Pocus with chat video. Today we are going to work on Sarah's hat. So um, if you haven't seen the other video, the first hat we did Winnie's. You can refer to the other video uh, for any parts that I might skip over and you can uh, get that up in the corner here. There's a link and I'll link it down below in the description. So to start with, I already added a little curved end to the hat frame that this came from the Dollar Tree. And I also already added, sorry about that, added the little hot glue bits to help keep the mesh on as we wrap it around. So I am going to use purple to do the top portion of the hat for Sarah. So what I'm gonna do is get my mesh and a zip tie and just gather the end together, bunch together like that. So then we are going to wrap this just like I wrapped the other one, where you kind of keep everything gathered together. And start wrapping. Like I said before, the hardest part about this is that these frames are large and can be a little bit awkward as you're trying to do this. Um, another tip might be, or helpful, might be to have a clothespin and just kind of hold it, you know, clip it to where you start so that doesn't inch up on you as much. Or it might help you keep it there instead of having to hold it there. It eventually will stay there. It just um, can be a pain to start with. Again, you're just gonna keep wrapping this. And I'm sorry if I keep going out of frame. It's just kind of an awkward thing to do. So we're gonna keep going all the way around and then we'll get, when I get to the top, I'll come back. So you can see I've made it to the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep wrapping. So I get to about here. And then I am going to zip tie it right here. this bit and tuck it in and just like that and there you go so that's the base of the hat this anymore so it'll stay just fine. So the next thing I'm going to add is some tulle that's purple but it has some pink and silver sparkles. I got this from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna do this the same way I did the spider web tool on Winnie's hat. I'm just going to wrap it around and glue it and cut it 
so that it fits and just cover the entire hat. So do that. <clears throat> just start with a piece. Bring it around. Go ahead and cut it. You know, it doesn't have to cover the entire back. If you don't want it to, you just make it work for wherever you want it to stop. Basically, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue to tack that down because it'll kind of cling to the mesh anyway. So I'm going to do the whole hat and then I'll come back. So for the brim of the hat, I am going to use three colors. This is a pink, red, and purple mesh. And I'm going to add some of the black tubing. And I have this purple color bow, or not bow, ribbon that um, I'm gonna cut. So these I'm gonna cut at 12 inches each. This is also 12 inches. I'm going to cut pieces of these at 16 inches. I'm not exactly sure how many I'm gonna need, but in the end, my bunch is gonna look like this. And what I did was a smaller woodland uh, ruffle, and I'll show you how to make that here in a second. Um, but I just put one red, one purple, one pink, uh, two of the tubings, and one piece of ribbon in there using a Chanel stem. Use purple in this case. So I'll show you real quick how to do these. And again, I'm going to use my clothespins because they come in handy. So with an ruffle, you kind of do the tube type thing to start with. A couple um, curls in on each side and then you bunch it together in the middle and it kind of looks like a, a bow or when you have a bigger one it usually kind of looks like a butterfly but since I only did 12 inches it's kind of a smaller one which is what I want because of bunching them together so that's one and then we do a red one. One, two. Paper clip. Paper clip. Loose pin. I don't know where my brain is today. Ready? One, two. And then scrunch it together. And like that. Same on this. So there's those. So take our Chanel stem pipe cleaner. Uh, these are cut in half. Now I'm gonna fold it in half, like a V or a U shape, and start piling in my, uh, uh, start putting together my stuff. So, I actually think I want purple in the middle. So kind of bunch it together like this. And then with, with these, I am just folding them in half and making kind of like a loop. So it looks kind of like a bow and putting that in the middle and then doing that same with the other one and kind of go on the opposite side so that in the end, it might look like bow. But you know what? I needed to do my ribbon first. So let me take a step back here. Add in my ribbon. And there we go. Then 
this is when I take my pipe cleaner and go over center Make sure everything's in there and then I'm gonna kind of fold it all up and twist this around so in the end it's kind of like that and then you can fluff it out and fix it whatever it needs to be fixed so that's how you're gonna make your bunches now I'm not sure how many bunches we'll need again you know when I finish how many actually use. So once you make your bundles you're going to attach them to the brim just like we did in the other uh, with the other hat. If you watch that one. You're just gonna use the top wire for the brim, this wire that goes all the way across. Start in the center and then twist it on the pipe cleaner. Make sure it's nice and tight. And just keep twisting them around and tuck them up or you can snip them shorter if you want. I think it's easier just to tuck them up and you won't see it. And that's the beginning of one. Then you would do the next one. On one side or the other and I just keep going back and forth from one side to the other. Keep doing that until it's full. I'll come back when I have mine all on. So I finished adding all of my bundles to the brim of the hat. I think it looks really cute. And I ended up with 13. So the next part I'm going to do is uh, work on my sign that I'm going to make. I have a Dollar Tree sign that I'm gonna use the back of, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, I did the same with the other wreath. So I just printed out on cardstock uh, what I wanted it to say, muck, muck, muck for Sarah. And I'm going to glue this down to this sign. And this sign had um, wire here to hang it, but I took it out. So I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to decorate it with some glitter and some little jewels. So let's move the hat out of the way. So all I'm going to do is put some glue on and once I get some on I'm going to brush it to make a thin coat covering everything. And I'm gluing it to the back because I don't want to mess with the front because the front of the sign has like glitter and it's glossy and I don't think it would stick as well. So now that I have glue, I'm just gonna start spreading. So I'm gonna spread this all over and then I'll come back to you. So now I have the glue on here. I'm going to put my sign on. Just line it up. Just right. I just rub it on. So 
Now once you have it glued down, I am going to leave it, um, I'm gonna put, a, put it upside down and put a book on top of it just to kind of press it evenly. And I'm gonna leave it sit like that for a little bit and dry and then I'll come back and decorate it. So these gems are actually strips of gems. So I'm actually going to just cut them apart. A few of them. And they're adhesive, so it makes it easy. If you don't feel like they're sticky enough, you could always add some glue or hot glue them just to make them a little more attached if you're worried about that. My wreath is going to be inside, not outside. If I was putting it outside, I might do a little bit more glue just to make sure that they stayed in case, you know, weather. But I also wouldn't be doing paper, or if I was doing this with paper, I'd probably put some sort of sealer over top of it because obviously if it's gonna rain or something, but you could do vinyl or something like that. You could paint signs, you could use an already made sign, you know, so there's lots of options. So actually I found that I have this pinkish color. I don't know if it says the name on here. I don't see it, but it's a pinkish glitter paint. So I am going to use that and trace the center amok just to add a little sparkle. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back to you. So here is how I painted the sign. So it's wet and it has to dry, but once it's dry, I can either add some wire or some pipe cleaners to the back of this to be able to attach it to the hat. So after this dries, I'll come back and I'll have it attached to the hat with Sarah attached to the hat. Let me just show you real quick. I already put, I put wire around her waist here. I kind of bent it down, hoping that we can kind of hide it along her costume line because I wanted to put it under the skirt, but the skirt actually, it, it comes down in the center, so it makes it difficult. So I just have it wrapped around her waist like this and then push this down like this once I get it in place. Hopefully I'll be able to keep it like that. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. So you won't see it, especially from far away. And then we'll just stick that through the, the mesh. Trying to make sure I don't put her right down in the paint. So we'll add her like that. And then also I'll add a loop out of some heavier wire to the back to make a hanger for the, the hat wreath. So once this dries, I'm gonna do all those, those three things and I'll come back and show you. So here is the completed hat wreath. I like the way it looks. I like the colors. I think it works well for Sarah. I hope you enjoyed doing this along with me and that you'll come back and you'll like and subscribe and
check out the next one that I will do, which will be for Mary. And then I'll show you how I put them all together up on my wall. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye.